Cause I'm TNT I'm dynamite TNT And I will not fight TNT I'm a power load TNT Watch me explode What's going on guys? Hi Dynamite here. Today I'm gonna be bringing you a tutorial on how to do your um, 3D logos inside Adobe After Effects using a plugin called uh, Element 3D and uh, Adobe Illustrator. You're gonna briefly need uh, Adobe Illustrator to complete um, to do this the fast and easy way. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, let me show you what I did and what I'm gonna be doing. And um, it's just a, a simple track uh, logo. That's the the new Hawk logo or the the one that we've been using uh, lately. And um, let's get in it. Let's get right into it. All right. So I'm gonna delete everything um, that I already created so I could show you how to do it. And uh, I'm gonna keep my uh, track cinematic, so uh, we don't have to. Um, going to waiting all the time uh, that, that whole time to to do the, the tracking on the on the cinematic I already got this uh, track and uh, what you need to do is uh, just right click and uh, track camera but I'm not gonna do that to save some time that takes a couple of minutes um, the first thing I do is uh, I made my track points larger by uh, just um, dragging this uh, percentage signs uh, right here, just uh, drag the li the little um, arrows up and down to your liking. Um, that's about right for me. It's not gonna affect anything other than just uh, make those little X's a little more visible. Um, and just um, initially the the target area selects three dots and I usually just hit shift and start uh, clicking on different dots just to make it um, make the logo I want to make sure that it doesn't move any anywhere so I tell the you know that it's a much larger uh, area and I do that by um, just right click create null and camera so now, um, now that I got my no and my camera, what I want to do is um, right click on, uh, or sorry, um, edit. Make sure you got your carrier or your cinematic selected and you go to edit, duplicate. And uh, once you got all that set up, you want to go into Adobe Illustrator. Now, I open my um, Hawk logo, which we already created into a vector's image. Um, you could do that by uh, going into uh, Photoshop. You could create your logo into vectors, but um, you could look, it, look up a, a YouTube tutorial on how to convert a logo into vectors, Adobe Illust Illustrator vectors. Um, but we already did that either myself or one of the GFX's did that for us and uh, what you want to do from here is just select all and then you go to um, edit copy and you go back into your Adobe Illustrator and you want to go and create a new layer and this layer is going to be a solid and you want to rename this layer to hot logo or whatever it is that you're working with and after here what you want to do is uh, highlight that that layer right click or sorry again right click and go to edit paste and boom that's it the logo it's in there already it's not motion track but 
it's uh it's what you're looking to to get out of adobe illustrator it saves the cropping and all that stuff crazy stuff that i've seen some people doing it took me you know a bunch of tutorials and a bunch of learning and also i'm going to school for this so so i learned this uh from some of the tricks that the instructor showed me at school um plus um some of the tutorials i watched on youtube to learn this right here um so now that you got your logo in here you want to start creating your your element 3d layer and um, let's create a, a new a new solid and I already had type typed in the element because I was I was working with this and I uh, just drag that into that layer and uh, let's let's do this again let's rename our layer and this one is gonna be element layer and um, basically what you want to do from here is one of these layers is going to be your environment and you want to rename it to environment I've seen a few people doing this and I learned that from them to organize myself better and tell myself what is what um, now let's work with the element and, you, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to custom layers right here and you want to tell the application what is your mask and your mask is going to be that logo so that's as easy as um, going to layer one logo and if you got multiple things going on in here like say you got some text going on you want to tell you know say the text you pick the test text and uh, it would uh, make that text um, 3D just by by telling the application that uh, that's going to be a custom mask. And uh, next, you're going to go to custom textures and maps. This is what's going to give your logo the the uh, nice reflection and details that you want. And that's going to be your environment. Your environment is going to reflect on that logo, and you want to tell the application that you want it to do that. So just it's select your um, layer number six environment and now you're all set up to go into um, element 3d by clicking scene setup and the first thing I do is I tell um, element that um, my environment it's gonna be that cinematic and uh, you go at CC you do that at CC as just clicking right here on custom layer hit OK and from here, um, this is the part that I love about Element 3D, and I'm so glad I uh, I got this application because it's uh, so much easier than uh, than um, Cinema 4D. I haven't used Cinema 4D in since my my uh, Wings of Karma edit because um, I don't need to. You know, um, Element 3D is so much easier. I recommend you get it if you if you um, if you don't have it. Um, all you gotta do is just hit it through. And that's your logo right there. That's it. That's easy as that. I'm done. I mean, all I gotta do now is just, you know, grab one of these uh, materials, which you, which you could create your own. But um, I'm just gonna use the the normal. You know, this is the gold that I used for the for my last uh, hot edit. But uh, of course, I did a bunch of uh, custom stuff. I I added some more shine and make it look a lot better by you know changing on some of these settings right here the next thing you want to make sure you do in here it's uh, you go into this area right here the textures and you select the environment and you want to tell that specific uh, material that uh, your environment is that uh, carrier cinematic and you hit OK and now that I extrude my, my material I gave it some texture or environment. You could change all this different stuff here. You could you could pick and choose by yourself, and um, just hit OK once you're done. And uh, from here, you could um, you can mute that logo by uh, just going clicking that little eyeball right here just to to mute that little logo. And now um, you could go into your no 
and all you want from your null is the position and um, you expand the transform to get that position and you could hit uh, control C and you go into your your group one position group one is uh, this logo right here and you go particle replicator and you go down to the position and you want to start pasting your track null um, positions into there and you do that by hitting control C into um, the track null control C control B control C Y position control B and the C position control C control B and now your logo it's all set where you need it to be and from here all you need to do is um you need to go to uh, the particle look and you could resize this object by going up and down you know and then um, go back into your replicator and you could um, you know bring this up or but the important thing is that it's um, on the spot that you need it and bring it up just a tiny bit just so it doesn't you know to your liking to whatever your needs and um, from here I just um, go to particle look and I, I need to I need to uh, rotate this uh, logo just a tiny bit so oh not that way but the uh, this way right here and there you go and right there and that's that that's easy as that um, let me go forward just a tiny bit so you can see that um, it's on the spot that we need there you go um, now um, this is the easiest way uh, I found to do this if you got any questions if you need any help with any of these send me a message leave me a comment um, leave a like uh, if you got any questions you could also um, leave it on the, on the comment section and uh, just shoot me any questions if you got Take care, guys. Hopefully, uh, I'll be, I, will, I was helpful, and uh, hopefully, you guys be able to use this for your future edits. And uh, take care, guys. Peace out.